Hello there and welcome to my first vlog. Today I'm going to be talking about the difference between engineering and ecological resilience. So first I'm going to look at the definitions very quickly. So ecological resilience is where the system changes as a response to conditions. How much it can take before this flip to another stability domain is seen as ecological resilience. Engineering resilience is the speed of return to an equilibrium state. I just want to like get and firstly look at the key principles of ecological resilience. So the first thing is that it's a high degree of functional diversity, which means there's a huge amount of rep, kind of repetition within the system for certain parts being able to do the parts of others. So this means if for some reason something drops out or something isn't performing as it should, then the whole system still operates as a whole because another organism will basically pick up the load. The second, the second characteristic is that ecological systems often operate at the edge of instability, which means that they're able to take um, evolutionary opportunities. The third part is where the outputs of one process are the input for another. This means that there's no waste within the system. So how exactly do we compare and contrast and analyse these two different theories? When considering this originally myself, kind of one of my immediate responses was to try and find examples of bits of engineering and infrastructure that actually showed true ecological resilience, so certain examples. And actually it's really, really difficult because on the... And, as an engineering design principle, we ultimately design things with a known functional requirement. So we need this asset to operate under these conditions with other things around it. And okay, we look at those interactions between one and the other, but we ultimately design with a set of known quantities. And if we don't have a known quantity, then we use approximations or assumptions or future predictions about how many trucks are going to drive across that bridge, for example, um, to be able to try and work out a set of design criteria. Um, whereas one of the things about ecological resilience is that actually a system adapts itself to a set of changing conditions. Obviously, we're looking at a set of you know, materials. So those materials, they haven't got a brain, they haven't got a response system, if you like, like we look at or organic organisms do. So, you know, that system isn't, or that asset itself isn't going to change. So I think it's quite difficult. You can't look at it directly and go, okay, we need this bridge to suddenly act like an organ. You know, that's not going to happen. That bridge might be an organ for the city and it might serve as an as an organ for the city in terms of other functionality, but that actual asset itself isn't going to suddenly evolve. I think this key idea with engineering resilience actually comes in in terms of thinking and our response to our our response and our reaction, I suppose, to um, to the idea. So, for example. Um, so when you look at the definition for engineering resilience, well, and for resilience as a whole, it now talks about actual response to opportunity. And I think that's a real change in attitude as an us actually recognizing, you know what, challenges and difficulties aren't just a logistical problem and means that we've got to respond, they're an opportunity. And I think that's what's really important. That's how ecological systems do so well because when they come up to adversity they respond in a way that's very proactive and actually where they can they'll try and better themselves and I think that's really what we've got to take from this kind of idea is you know what yes this is going to be tough and this isn't easy and actually it'd be quite nice if this situation wasn't happening but it makes us break through traditions, think about things differently, do things differently, and ultimately, hopefully, build back better. Um, and yeah, for me, that's really the most important thing about looking at this, well, looking at these two different definitions.